that he entered and found in the city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city and following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace our ages of the cross, we may share in the joy of the resurrection. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass and on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid the cloaks over them, and he sat on them. The very large crowds spread their cloaks on the road, while others <coughs> cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Word. Lord. Lord.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ears that I may hear and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks, to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffet and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. I can't. 
can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast love. You, O oh Lord, be not far from me. O oh, my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revive A reading for the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God and Father. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A passion from our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. You may be seated. Now Jesus stood before the governor, Pontius Pilate, and he questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast of the governor was accustomed to release the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had him handed over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Pilate then, said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted louder, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that at a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His blood be upon us Then he released Barabbas <clears throat> to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Wearing a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, they spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. And as they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. And when he had tasted it, after, after that, they had him crucified. They divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who destroyed the temple and rebuilt it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, you can come to the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved our brothers, he cannot save himself, so he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him out if he wants to. For he said, 
said, I am the Son of God. The, the revolutionaries were crucified with him, also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Immediately one of them ran to get a sponge and soaked it in wine and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. And the rest said, Wait, But Jesus cried out in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after the resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and the men with him who were keeping watch over Jesus feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that had happened, and they said, Truly, this is the Son of God. There were many women there looking on from a distance who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a large stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there, facing the tomb. The next day, the one following the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, Pilate said to them, The guard is yours. Go, secure it as best you can. So they went and secured the tomb by fixing a seal to the stone and setting the guard. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us together stand as we recite our creed. I believe in God. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, one of the Father before all ages. God, life, true God, true God. Be 
begotten, not me. Stench with the Father, through him all things were made. For our, sal for our salvation, he came down from heaven. Ascend into heaven, sit at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. He is born, and the Son is born and glorified, and was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic, and I confess. As we bring the prayers of the faithful forward, our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders, both lay and ordained, that they continue to spread the good news of the crucified and risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who lead the world's nations, particularly where there is unrest, that they commit themselves anew to the cause of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others, that they persevere in spite of discouragement or weariness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice, that they bear suffering as Jesus did and rejoice also in his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who gather at this table, especially those preparing for the Easter sacraments, that their trials be united to the passion and death of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom this Mass is offered, for Karen Hammond, sister-in-law of Virginia Harberts, and I understand that Cease Birchill's sister passed away too. I don't have her first name. And especially for Father Tom Jennings, former pastor of St. Catharines in Laverne, and Mixner and Prope's families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, into your hands we place these our petitions and ask that they're answered through Christ our Lord. Please join in number 151, O Sacred Head Surround at 151.
For Almighty. your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord for It is truly right and just.
Join in number 149, Behold the Lamb of God.
collection in support of St. Mary's Church. Joy for the Journey will not meet this Sunday. This Sunday will be confessions at 3 p.m. and no confessions on Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday. On Holy Wednesday, the Timbre service and Easter Vigil, please bring your cell phones so you can use the light from your phones. Please check the Holy Week schedule on page 9. Confirmation sponsors will have their third interview with their student on April 19th at 7 p.m. The Stations of the Cross will be at noon on Good Friday. Pope Francis has asked our parish to support the Pontifical Good Friday Collection, which helps Christians in the Holy Land. The Hispanic KFCs will have an Easter brunch on Easter Sunday. Please check the flyer on page 10 and the parish office will be closed from Holy Wednesday to Tuesday, April 4th, and will reopen on Wednesday, April 5th.
please join in Jesus Remember Me, 416. Thank you. 